there is no excuse for Muslim moderates. Many people claim it's only the extremists that are bad. But it is the moderates. In great quantity. That enable the religion to succeed. Because they keep justifying the religion and its positive aspects. Allowing the stupid shit to continue. Godwin's Law. Fuck it. I'll compare Islam to. Do you know what? Not all of Germany was 100% on the side of Nazi ideology. Many were moderates. They were too afraid to speak up against the ideology and went along with the positive aspects. Like more jobs. Employment. Etc. So it continued for longer. Because of the woozy moderates who enabled it and went along with it. Rather than people with balls. Someone who is not moderate has to stand up against it. Moderates just enable this shit to continue. Moderates are the easiest to brainwash. They go along with stuff and are all liberal happy and tolerant of anything. Even of the intolerant. Moderates are constantly making excuses for their religion's wrongdoings. Moderates don't even follow their religion. They just go along with little parts of it. For example 90% of Christians probably use condoms which is highly against Christianity. So what the fuck are you Christian for if you don't even follow the bloody religion's teachings? These moderates keep the religion on hand as an insurance plan for when they are dead. As long as they say they are Christian. Even though they aren't true Christians actually. They think that saying they are Christian will get them into heaven. They just have to accept Jesus. Then they can send, because Jesus now has prepaid for their sins. What a load of shit. Then there is the bullshit about its only symbolism. And that religion is good to keep on hand, because the symbolism is useful. But this fucking symbolism causes people to fly planes into buildings. In real life not symbol life. Then there are the mixed folk who believe it is partially symbolism and partially true. But you can never figure out what in the Bible is true and what is symbolism. So the moderates. Pick and choose what they want to be symbolic and what they want to be true. That's why there are 5,000 and a million different sects of Christianity. I lost count. Who gives a shit what the total number of variations are? We know it is large. These are all cults. So then you have the large cults claiming they are not cults, Catholic Church. But it's the biggest scam, since no one in the Catholic religion actually follows true Catholicism. Many Catholics don't even know what their position is on evolution biology theory. Each priest has a different interpretation of the Bible. There is no consistency. Then there are the moderates who believe that all religions might be true. You just have to believe. Doesn't matter which one you believe in, because they all worship a god, and that's all you need. Give me a fucking break you retarded cocksuckers and dimwits. You're just enabling these viruses or viri to continue. It's like someone who gets a treatable disease. But has a moderate position on whether to get treated. Because who knows. Maybe the disease has feelings. And you might hurt the bacteria. Or virus. That you are getting rid of. So let's just all be nice and refrain from killing the virus or disease. Well fuck that wussy shit. Wussy. The people that went along with Nazi Germany just enabled it to go further. Not all the people actually believed in the Nazi ideology. They just picked and chose parts of it. That they agreed with. Many people make the mistake of thinking everyone was a true Nazi. The whole country magically became all Nazis. No. A lot of them were moderates going along with it, because everyone else was.
someone needs to take a stand against this retarded shit. And it is not the tolerant liberal who is going to do that. Nor the beta male would see. Just sit back and relax. Religion ain't harming anyone. Islam is a religion of peace. Saying something over and over does not make it true. Islam is a religion of peace. 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 There's only a couple of extremists, the rest of us are peaceful. Shut up, you retarded bitch. It's the moderates who walk around enabling the extremist ideology to continue. They are advertising and promoting the cult. Then when some of the moderates actually read their Quran carefully, they become the extremists. It's not like an extremist just becomes extremist immediately. He likely is a moderate first. Extremists can recruit moderates into their cults. Because they already believe half the shit. They just have to convince them of a few more points. Especially the idea of a paradise. And the idea of infidels. And how getting into the paradise requires getting rid of infidels. It is true some are born into the religion as extremists. But moderates are ripe for picking. An example is someone who goes to church. Believes in some of the shit propagated. But then questions himself and asks. Wait. If this shit is true. I should probably take the next step and become a priest. Or become a politician and implement laws to kill adulterers, or at least, send them to prison. Sharia law. Many of the moderates secretly want this implemented. After all Sharia law is based on the Quran. So taking the next step. A moderate should in fact start obeying and implementing Sharia law. Or a child going to church should become a priest. After all. That's what gets one closest to God. So this moderate. Who could have had a respectful career. Now wastes his life away telling fairy tales on Sunday. And has become a more extreme Christian. But maybe he became a politician. People think religion and politics can be kept separate. Which is a load of shit. The Bible and Quran is a political book with political consequences. What do you think Sharia law is? Or the Ten Commandments? They have direct effects on law. Anybody who thinks religion and politics are separate issues is an idiot. Sad to say. As if your religion has no effect on science class and education. And political plans you implement. Religion has everything to do with politics. For example do you not think that if a Bible advises against alcohol, abortion, or adultery, that a politician who is a member of this religion will not be influenced in any way and will not implement any laws related to their religious doctrine? What the fuck? Of course their religion will have an effect on their political plan. The moderates are the liars because they pretend their religion is just on the side not doing much. But the extremists don't pretend. They make it clear their religion is their life 100%. These moderate slime balls muddy the water and allow the religious shit to continue. The worst is a moderate who is pretending to be a moderate. And is an immigrant. Then when people find out it was actually an extremist. Hiding as of moderate. Pretending to be one. It's too late, because they've done an extremist action like bomb a subway or marathon. The moderates are given the go by tolerant liberals to keep being Muslim or Jewish or Christian. We respect your culture. It's just a different culture. Multicultural relativism? What a load of shit. Tolerant liberals shame anyone who tries to take a religion away from someone. They hate Hitchens. They hate Christopher Hitchens. And ran a smear campaign against him. Neocon. Warmongerer. Hate speech. 
or he's lost his mind in his old age. But aren't the tolerant liberals being intolerant of Hitchens and neocons then? Liberals don't seem to understand the concept of being intolerant liberals. They could never be. Because they are liberal. You can't be an intolerant liberal. The liberals and the religious moderates are united together. Because they continually make excuses. To allow religion to continue. It's good for us. It offers us peace if you just pick the good parts. But many think that the good parts are stoning adulterers. How do you know what in the book is good? JavaScript the good parts. Fuck. So a guy rips out all the bad pages inside the Bible and makes a new Bible without the bad parts. Your whole fucking religion is now summed up in one line. Do nice things to people. Okay so what the fuck do you need a guy nailed to a cross for? 72 virgins. And other stupid shit. They are good to keep on hand as funny jokes. Or retarded metaphors. Boring. That ends this shit. Religion is dead. No it is not. Because the pussy moderates enable it.